Hi, this is Rob Clark with Venatox Laboratories. I spend most of my day taking care of snakes and extracting venom, but when I need a break from that, I'll take care of tarantulas, and that's a fun hobby that I enjoy now and I'm absolutely hooked. So today I wanted to show you one of the funnest aspects of keeping tarantulas, and that's preparing a molt for display. So let me show you what I have here. These are the tools I use. I use the hemostat and forceps. And the first thing I'll do is I'll delicately take the molt, which is the tarantula's exoskeleton, out of the enclosure and I'll put it on one of these Dixie plates. And then I'll take the uh, water bottle and I'll spray it down. I've already done that with this one and sometimes I'll cover it with a paper towel, keep it moist. And that way, when you're working with it, these legs are pliable and not brittle and if they dry out then they'll break and they're very delicate and it's no fun when you're excited about preparing a beautiful specimen and then you just break it into pieces so you'll take your tools and I'll use two hands not one and then spread it out manipulate it the way you want it so it's even and symmetrical as pretty as you want it um, don't worry about getting it perfect because the more you try to get it perfect, the more you're going to work with it, the more you're going to tear tissue, break legs. So just work with it a little bit, get it how you like it, and then let it dry. So what I have here is a Brachypelma hemeri. It's an orange knee, not to be confused with the Brachypelma smithi, which is a little bit larger but also known as orange knee. So one of the things I failed to mention is that while you've got this all opened up and prepared, you can take that opportunity to sex the tarantula. You can see whether it's male or female. This one is clearly a female. It has the little pouch right there. Now with the smaller specimen, where it's really hard to see, I will take a flashlight. I have this really bright flashlight and I'll shine it in that direction and the light will reflect off of that pouch it makes it much much easier to see especially with a real small specimen now this particular specimen like I may have mentioned is a female because it has that pouch and is a Lassiodora parahybana a Brazilian salmon pink bird eating tarantula. It's absolutely not full size. Full size can get as big as this plate, but this is a good size one and it's perfect for demonstrating how to prepare a molt. So then I'll take the carapace, I'll place it back where it goes, next to the fangs, and then I'll try to Kind of spread that back out so it looks as natural as I can get it to look. And once I have that ready, I will take these hemostats and I'll use them like a forklift to get under the tarantula and then carefully put it in position on the Riker box. That's spelled R-I-K-E-R. -E you can get these Riker boxes on the web or Amazon. And they're perfect for displaying these exoskeletons. You can use them for butterflies or whatever kind of bug collection you have. Once you get that place. So, before I mention this, Riker box comes with two layers of this cushion and I take one layer out and I don't put it back in. If you have both those layers in and you try to put your specimen in there, especially a tarantula, and then you put this cover on there, you're just gonna smash it. And that's no fun. So I take the one out, I get my specimen in place, then get the lid on. And there you have it, beautiful orange knee tarantula. The pins are back in place, it's held together. 
and it's got the perfect amount of space for that tarantula so it doesn't move around inside the box and it's beautifully displayed with natural curvature of the legs and it's just gorgeous I can't stop looking at it anyway that's my fun for the day